I can't quite say I've seen that happen before, Brandy. Definitely walking to some kind of uncharted waters with two systems potentially impacting the same city within a short time frame. So Marco is going to be the first one potentially making its way over this region, pushing on in towards the Gulf of Mexico with Laura coming in not far behind, although Laura has a little bit more of a treacherous journey to travel through as it makes its way towards the Gulf of Mexico. But Tropical Storm Marco winds of 50 miles per hour, 100 plus miles just off the coast of the Yucatan Peninsula. And you can see as the hurricane hunters went into that center of circulation right there. They did find a pressure of uh, 1,004 millibars recently, and they'll be going back on in later on today with another flight plant later this afternoon. But we have seen the system slowly getting stronger, getting a little more organized over the past about day or so. And as it makes its way from the Yucatan Peninsula, it goes into the very warm open waters of the Gulf of Mexico. We can see those temperatures being fuel for the fire for this system to potentially really strengthen up. But thankfully, there will be some wind shear in the past half of Marco as it's making its approach towards southeastern Texas. That'll keep it from really just exploding in strength right there because uh, yeah, once it gets towards some strong wind shear, kind of like hits the top of the storm system, kind of like cuts it off a little bit. So yeah, that's a good thing right there that we're not talking about a massive hurricane coming our way, but nonetheless could be seeing a strong tropical storm or perhaps a weak category one hurricane if it does get the chance to go one more interval higher. But either way, we'll see a tropical system come in towards potentially southeastern Texas by Tuesday afternoon into Wednesday morning, weakening as it makes its way further inland, bringing wind, rain and some minor storm surge concerns for the coastal areas. But you can definitely see the forecast models of spaghetti plots do have to decide where that system will go over time. Right now, they're kind of in a little bit of a disagreement with each other. Now, tropical storm lore winds 40 miles per hour traveling to the west at 20. 21 miles per hour. It's just outside of Puerto Rico by about 50 miles or so. If it goes over Puerto Rico, Hispaniola, and Cuba and survives that journey where those islands are a little more on the mountainous side of things, it will eventually make its way to the Gulf of Mexico where it has the potential for strengthening to a Category 1 hurricane right now based on the National Hurricane Center's official forecast cone, which does put it in towards the Louisiana area, potentially also portions of Mississippi and Texas as well. As you can see, the various forecast models do say that it can go various different directions, so a lot of things can change as we go forward through the next several days. Reason why that system is now making a little more of a jog in its journey towards Houston is because this high pressure system out there towards the open waters of the Atlantic is going to push a little bit further west, pushing that storm path a little bit further south and west, allowing it to potentially swing up this way. And that's why we got two cones right there into the Gulf of Mexico, Houston, right in the middle of both of them potentially as you make your way towards Tuesday through Thursday's time frame. Your day plan for your day today does include clouds increasing for storm potential later on this afternoon and then the storm potential really does ramp on up as we go through the next week as we're watching the Gulf. Monday 30% chance for seeing that tropical activity, 70% chance on Tuesday of Marco and then Brandy or could be right on its coattails for the end of the work week.